This week on WWE Raw, we had a new unmissable episode of the Firefly Funhouse. Of course, with thy lord and master, Bray Wyatt, and his new confidant in the Funhouse, Alexa Bliss. Now, the Funhouse puppets were involved, but there was also loads of things you might have missed. So, welcome to Things You Might Have Missed from the Firefly Funhouse on Raw. And what a Raw it was! The end of the show saw the fiend haunt Randy Alton. Now, we did do an entire video on this already, but it's so big, it has to be included in this because you might have fallen asleep, you might have stopped watching, and every Funhouse fanatic needs to know this is happening, and I can't wait. Now, we got this before the actual Funhouse episode. This aired just before the commercial break that led to the Funhouse episode. It was with Ramblin' Rabbit and a picture of Alexa and Nikki when they were women's tag champs. You can clearly see Nikki Cross's face is crossed out with a red X. A throwback to the wall of friendship that Bray Wyatt used to have in the Firefly Funhouse. We actually don't get to see the wall of friendship anymore. It's obviously off camera now, I assume. Um, I wonder if it's to the left or the right. Answers in the comment section below. But we don't get to see it. And I thought it was cool because we knew Alexa faced Nikki on Raw. We'll talk about that more soon. But the fact her face is crossed out, I know it was just the eyes for Bray. But is this Alexa's version of her wall of friendship? Bray used to use the wall of friendship to hang memories of his opponents on the wall. Could Alexa be doing something similar? Is there other opponents for Alexa in the future? It's possible. We got a sighting. A fiend on the scene. The WWE shop plush. Of course, it's the ripoff of Elf on a Shelf. But it's much better and cooler. Yes, I have one. And yes, it's freaking brilliant. Um, of course, it's hidden in the plant pot to your left. If you haven't seen it yet. And yes, that is a brand new Firefly Funhouse puppet. Friendship Frog! Say that ten times really quick. Go on. Did you do it? Brilliant. Thought you did it really quick. But anyway, Friendship Frog is the new Funhouse puppet. But it came out of nowhere. I was genuinely watching the screen. And I was like, who the hell is that? Literally, so pleased Abby the Witch said the exact same thing. Who the beep is that? Brilliant. We know Friendship Frog is actually a thing. It's a children's character used to promote friendship and how to be a good friend. And I just thought that was cool because Bray was talking about friends that have stabbed him in the back in the past. And with what we then saw Alexa Bliss do, to literally murdering Friendship Frog to the point where he was completely splat on the table, used a crucifix as well. Um... You kind of think maybe Bray's turned to that other side now where he's not the nice friend anymore. Now, again, the fact Alexa used a Crew 6 I thought was cool. We know that Bray brought the Crew 6 in when he first moved to WWE Raw. Um, he obviously has a long history with the Crew 6. It dates back to the rivalry with Randy Orton all those moons ago. But genuinely to see Alexa use it the same way Bray used it on Rambling Rabbit a few weeks ago. Is kind of cool and again another hint that both Bray and Alexa seemingly are on an equal level and can do everything together. Whatever you do though do not get attached to Friendship Frog because um, with what you saw Alexa Bliss do to the frog unfortunately he will rest in peace. I miss Undertaker so much. Of course it showed up on screen with a tribute to him 1980 to 2020 but you all know Bray Wyatt likes to hide things in plain sight. Take the date, 1980, making Friendship Frog 40 years old. Well, so is Randy Orton. He was born on the 1st of April, 1980, aged 40 years. Shout out to everyone who sent that over to me. Loads of people sent it over. I'm really appreciative of you all. Of course, we know the Fiend has stalked Orton in the past. We know he stalked him again tonight on Monday Night Raw. And of 
course, the whole Firefly Funhouse was pretty much dedicated to Alden with Bray remembering the cabin in the woods being burnt down. He spoke about friends burning your house down. Of course, it's all to do with Randy Alton. But let's get a little bit more lighthearted and give you all something you want. A new motto to live your life by, by the one and only legendary future Hall of Famer Friendship Frog. Always eat what bugs you. Now we saw Bray Wyatt once again use the heel glove on Alexa Bliss. Now this week was very, very different. He put the heel glove over her forehead, but then removed it to her ear where he whispered into her ear. Now, we have no idea what he said. There was no audio for this. We can't even try and work it out. But it made Alexa turn back into this demonic essence of herself, if you will. We know Bray uses the hurt and heel gloves. He puts them to his face and he listens to fate. He lets fate decide by you listening to the gloves. Now, what's interesting, therefore, is Alexa did not listen to the gloves. She listened to Bray Wyatt. Is it possible, then, that Bray lies about the Hurt and Hill gloves and what they say to him? And therefore, because he's whispering to Alexa, he is the puppet master, we know that, and he's pulling the strings. He's letting Alexa think it's the gloves talking to her, when the whole time, it's the cult leader, Bray. Now, Nikki Cross did a backstage interview before her match with Alexa Bliss where she said something really interesting about wanting to beat the fiend out of Alexa Bliss. We have long theorised that whatever the hell is going on with Alexa means that she's becoming a fiend. A female fiend, another portion of the fiend, if you will. And we haven't seen anything like a mask or anything to give it away yet. But Nikki saying that is cool because now we can guess that, yes... Alexa is the fiend. In her match with Nikki Cross, we saw Alexa very happy, very playsome. She wanted to play. She was enjoying it. And of course, this is very much like fun house spray. He's just around to have a good time. We did then see her lord Nikki Cross in a sign of evil, perhaps, where she sort of cried, said she didn't know what was going on. Nikki Cross kind of fell for it. She got suckered in. And Alexa Bliss used a brand new move. Don't know if you missed it, but it was almost like a downward spiral. I remember playing WWF video games, and I remember Edge used to use the downward spiral, so a little throwback maybe there. Version of a Sister Abigail is what they called it on commentary, and it was it was like a face plant maneuver, um, but it didn't have the twist. It, she didn't bend over with them or anything. It could have just been a one-off, but it would be interesting to see if we see this move again from Alexa. Her entrance, it's worth noting, was the same as previous. You had the dripping of the Alexa Bliss logo like it was fading away. And the fiend eyes behind her on the screen as she emerged from the Titan China. I loved it. I thought it was cool. We saw her laughing during the match with Nikki when she was in pain. Again, just like Funhouse Bray would laugh at his opponents during a match. It's what Alexa Bliss did. And again, at the end, you saw her... Putting that place and pose back on, showing off the pain and play gloves. And it was obvious that she was just playing around the entire match. Now, there was an image on Alexa Bliss's pink T-shirt tonight. I have no idea what it was. If you guys can work it out, if you want to go back and have a look, you can. I could not find a shot where you could see it clearly. You might be able to. I hope you can because I'd love to get an answer to it. What is that image? We don't know what it is. It could be a new logo. It could be something hidden in plain sight that we're going to see in the future. But it will be interesting to find out. I know a lot of people are wanting and hoping for Nikki to join The Fiend and join Alexa in the funhouse. I really don't think that's going to happen. I think tonight confirmed that for me with the fact that she was... Uh, on that picture with her face crossed out, pretty much like Alexa's wall of friendship. So I think she's just going to be a victim of Alexa Bliss for sure. I think it would be really cool, but I don't think there's a reason for her to join. I think she is just an opponent for Bliss, which makes perfect sense. Also tonight, interestingly, when they was talking about friendship, they wasn't happy about friendship. Bray and Alexa both gave a thumbs down when talking about friendship. And Bray said friends will always leave you. 
And it just made me think, does he expect Alexa Bliss to leave him soon or in the future? Is that why this was hinted at tonight? Is Alexa Bliss going to be leaving the funhouse and Bray's just kind of saying to us, look, it's okay, friends do this all the time, but I'll be fine. And maybe he gets a new friend. Maybe Alexa's purpose serves its course. I don't know. But I got to say, this week's Funhouse was amazing. The fact we got The Fiend interacting with Alton again was perfect. So many people are saying that that was never gonna, it wasn't going to happen or it wasn't the right time. I just call them stupid because why would Bray Wyatt wait? He hates Alden. It makes loads of sense. Why would Alexa wait for Nikki? Nikki's angry at Alexa. It just makes sense that these feuds happen now. There was no puppet watch this week, but I don't think we needed it. I think we got enough for this week. But let me know if you spotted anything in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like the video if you are new to the channel. Hit the subscribe button. Of course, make sure you share the video. It really does help other people find it. And I will see you next time. Peace!